It's narrated that during the battle of the Khandaq, the battle of the trench, when Medina was under siege, the army had Medina surrounded. The Quraysh army had Medina surrounded. No one was allowed in or out. Nothing was going in and out. Does it sound familiar, brothers and sisters? Does it sound familiar? Does it sound like Gaza? Medina was surrounded by the enemy. They were under siege. No one was going in or out. Trade wasn't happening in or out of Medina. They were under siege. And a Sahaba by the name of Jabir, radiallahu an, he narrates this. It is narrated that Umar radiallahu an, or maybe another Sahaba, there's different narrations, but Umar radiallahu an, let's just say, came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and he was starving, he was hungry. And so he lifted up his shirt to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam to show Rasulullah, look at, look, look at my situation, I'm hungry, I'm starving. And what did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam respond with? He lifted up his shirt and he had two stones tied to his blessed torso. He had two stones tied to his blessed torso. Sh telling Umar radiallahu anh, and all the companions that I'm hungrier than you, I feel your pain. In fact, I'm feeling it more. Subhanallah. And Jabir radiallahu anh, he's on the sidelines and he's seeing this interaction take place. And he says to himself, this, this is an injustice. How is God's messenger this hungry? How is God's messenger this hungry? This is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and he's starving. And so he decides to do something about it. He goes home to his wife and he says, whatever we have, whatever we have, whatever food we have, prepare it. We're going to feed God's messenger. We're going to fix this injustice. And so then he goes back to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and he says, Ya Rasulullah, I'm inviting you to my house. Come to my house and I'm going to feed you. And look at the, this is our Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he says to Jabir radiallahu anh, he says, Wahdi ya Jabir, Wahdi ya Jabir, by myself, O Jabir, alone, O Jabir. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is more hungry than everyone else. And he's thinking about his companions. He's thinking about their pain, what they're feeling. Subhanallah. And so Jabir radiallahu anh, he's in a position because he doesn't have enough to feed everyone. He doesn't have enough to feed anyone, but this is what Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi said to him. So he says, "Yes, bring what you want, bring who you want, Abu Bakr, Umar, bring a few people." And so Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi goes and he invites everyone, and he says, "Everyone, Jabir radiallahu, Jabir is feeding us. Jabir is feeding us." And Jabir radiallahu anhu, he's 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 scared, he's he's stressed out because he doesn't have enough to feed everyone. And Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says to him, "Don't serve anyone until I get there. Don't serve anyone until I get there." And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa gets there and he blesses the food. And he blesses the food. And everyone is able to eat. And Jabir radiallahu anh narrates that the food is not finishing. The pots that are holding the food, it's not finishing. It's not finishing. Everybody's eating. Everybody's being satisfied. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. What's the lesson in this story, brothers and sisters? What are the takeaways for us? The takeaway is this. Jabir radiallahu anh there was an injustice happening. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and the companions were starving. They were under siege. And Jabir radiallahu anh decided to do something about it. And because he did something about it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed a miracle to happen where everyone was fed and everyone was taken care of. He saw an injustice and he did something about it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed a miracle to take place where everyone was taken care of. That's the first lesson. The second lesson is Jabir radiallahu anh, he didn't solve the, the, the whole crisis. He didn't end the war. He didn't destroy the enemy. What he did was small. But it wasn't small, it was big. He fed everyone. He fed everyone and he gave them the strength and the nourishment that they needed in order to fight off the enemy. And so brothers and sisters, this story applies to us right now.